hello guys welcome to mr legend crypto guys in this video taking a look at general crypto market 2022 has been brought out to all coins we're ending 2022 on a limp we've seen all coins dumping to goblin town bitcoin is currently trading around sixteen thousand six hundred dollars are we going to see bitcoin have one final dump before the end of 2022 the king of all coin ethereum is still holding the doom rules we're seeing ethereum trading around one thousand one hundred and ninety six dollars Will Ethereum continue dumping to Goblin Town in 2023? Well, we're going to see Ethereum pumping to the upside. The crypto market is still in fear. The altcoin season index is telling us right now we should be accumulating some altcoins, but we should be careful. They are very volatile. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new stories happening in the crypto world. Where is the crypto market heading to in 2023? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is a channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. All coins have been dumped into Goblin Town on a weekly time frame and on a monthly time frame. But hopefully, 2023 will be a good year for altcoins. If you take a look at Bitcoin, 2022 has been a really terrible year for Bitcoin. We have seen Bitcoin dump into Goblin Town. We started 2022 with Bitcoin trading above $50,000. Bitcoin worked its way towards the $15,500 region in 2022. 2022 has been giving us shades of what happened in 2018 when we saw Bitcoin go from $19,000 to as low as $3,100, losing 82% of its value. But in the bear market of 2022, we have only seen Bitcoin go from an all-time high of 69000 dropping to as low as 15500 losing only 77.42% of its value. We went out 2023 and Bitcoin is going to behave how it has done in the previous bear market and go down around 80 plus percent, we might see Bitcoin heading to the $13,000 region in early 2023. If we take a look at the altcoin market, king of the altcoins, Ethereum, is still holding the June lows. We have not seen Ethereum gone below this low be set in June when we saw Ethereum trading around $900. There's a very strong possibility in 2023 we might see Ethereum come back to that $900 region. From where Ethereum is trading right now, we might see Ethereum dropping another 27 or 28 percent. Maybe even set new lows in 2023. All coins are known to be very, very volatile in the bear market. All coins are known to be dumping to Goblin Town in the bear market. If you take a look at what has been happening in the last one month in the altcoin market, we have seen all coins dumping to Goblin Town. We've seen all coins like Solana lose 28 percent of its value. Algo drop 31%, Dogecoin drop 30%, Falcon drop 31%. The story in the last one month has been all coins have been dumping to Goblin Town. New stories happen in the crypto world. Our media wallet funneled over $1.7 million by crypto mixers overnight. That has negated the possibilities of liquidators behind the fund transfer due to the use of mixer tools and extensive planning to hide transaction parts. MicroStrategy Bitcoin purchases divided crypto community. Many praises the move, while others brought up some potential negative effect of one entity holding a lot of Bitcoin. Recently, MicroStrategy announced they have increased their Bitcoin holdings by over 2,500, which brings their total Bitcoin holding to 132,500 Bitcoins. Bitcoin price could surge past $600,000. If hardest assets match gold, the coming decades could be Bitcoin time to copy gold. The coming decades could be Bitcoin time to copy gold, 1970 styles, breakouts, and scrappy code investment. Are we going to see Bitcoin pumping to the moon in the coming decades? We saw gold have a crazy, crazy pump in the 1970s. Will Bitcoin repeat that sort of pumps right now? But guys, before we go to those pumps, remember, we're going to go through the bear market which we're experiencing right now. The top 10 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization in the last 24 hours. It's still unchanged, but we had some huge losses in the last seven days. In the last seven days, we saw Matic lose 4.33% of its value. Cardano lost 6% of its value. Dogecoin, the biggest loser in the top 10 cryptocurrencies, lost 9.55% of its value in the last eight days. Bitcoin is still number one, Ethereum is still number two, and we have the stablecoin wars going up at number three and number four. If we take a look at the loser section, the top gainers in the last 24 hours include BitDAO, Tonecoin, Trust Wallet, Ethereum Proof of Work, and Shiba Inu. And in the loser section, we have Helium, Hedera Hashgraph, Hoft, Chain, 
Neuron USD, and the Sandbox. BMW taps CoinWest and BNB Chain for blockchain loyalty program. BMW will integrate decentralized tech in two phases. First is daily operations to eliminate complex paperwork, and second phase will see the development of a customer loyalty program. MicroStrategy to offer Bitcoin Lightning solutions in 2023. MicroStrategy Lightning Network solutions, including Satoshi's power incentives for marketing and website cyber security. And Beckman Fry may enter plea deal in New York Federal Court next week before George Lewis Kaplan. Bachman Fry has claimed repeatedly that he does not consider himself to have criminal liability in the collapse of FTX, but his colleagues have already pleaded guilty. If we take a look at the total crypto market cap, currently at $756 billion, we are seeing the total crypto market cap hang around the 2018 all-time high. The million-dollar question is, are we going to break below the 2018 all-time highs in 2023? Are we going to see the stock crypto market cap maybe head down to that $500 million region if we see more dumps in the crumbling town? Or are we going to see a rally to the upside? At some point in time, the bear market, a bottom is going to come in. But is that time right now? We have seen the stock crypto market cap go from as high as $3 trillion, losing more than 75% of its value, dropping to as low as $751 billion. If we take a look at the altcoin market, we have seen the altcoin market break into new lows lower than where we got to in June. In June, we saw the altcoin market trading around the $326 billion region. Right now, by the end of December 2022, the altcoin market is below $290 billion. Maybe heading to Goblin Town, if we see the altcoin market continue bleeding into 2023, we might see the altcoin market maybe even head to that $200 billion region. Bitcoin price bottom not in, that's what data is saying. Will others hit two-year low? A lack of excitement on other books is just one sign that downside volatility could easily resume, says material indicators. Be careful out there, guys. MicroStrategy adds Bitcoin stake despite steep loss. The value of the firm's Bitcoin holding has declined 45% with an average purchase price of $30,397. For MicroStrategy to still be in profit right now, they have to see Bitcoin rally back above $30,000. And coincidentally, Bitcoin 365-day moving average is at the $28,269 region. So at some point in time in 2023, we expect Bitcoin to go and meet its 365-day moving average. In 2018, after the bottom was in, it took Bitcoin around 120 days to get there. So how long will it take Bitcoin to get to the 365-day moving average in 2023? If we take a look at other news stories happening in the crypto world, Bitcoin underperforms stocks goals for the first time since 2008. Bitcoin yearly losses are similar to high-profile stocks like Tesla and Meta, with BTC investors down 70% in 2022. Bitcoin beats Tesla stocks in 2022 as BTC price heads for 60% losses. BTC may be in line for worse losses in New Year's analysis, but BTC price action has least fared better than Tesla. Tesla has been dumping to Goblin Town recently, and Bitcoin, even though I've been dumping to Goblin Town, Bitcoin is still holding stronger than Tesla, and Bitcoin has been gradually gaining value on Tesla over the last few weeks. All coins is index is telling us right now is the time to be accumulating some all coins. If you are getting ready for any rally that will be showing in the market, anytime we see the all coins is index drop to Bitcoin season, that's the time to accumulate all coins. When we head back to all coins season, that's when you want to be selling those all coins back to some Bitcoin. So right now, are you buying those all coins in the bear market or are you waiting for lower prices? If you take a look at liquidations data in the market in the last 24 hours, over 17,000 traders have been liquidated, and the largest liquidation came in on Wobi. One trader was liquidated for over $627,000. A former China central bank says cumulative eCYN transaction only cost $14 billion in two years, adding that the results were not ideal. And Turkey central bank first, Turkey central bank's complete first CBDC test with more to come in 2023. After recently completing its first payment transactions using the CBDC, the central bank is pushing ahead with more tests over 2023. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Where do you see the altcoin market heading to in 2023? Do you think this is the final phases of the dump in the bear market? Are we going to see the altcoin market pump to the upside in 2023? Where do you see Bitcoin heading to, Ethereum heading to, and where do you see the altcoin market heading to in 2023? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notifications to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.